Hello Cowboys Nation, welcome to another video and without further ado, let's get to another round of news from America's team. Cowboys make two roster moves ahead of Sunday night's game. The Dallas Cowboys are facing a crossroads at this juncture of the 2024 NFL season as they sit at 3-3 and in third place in the NFC East. Dallas has been underwhelming through seven weeks and now will visit the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday Night Football. Like the Cowboys, the 49ers are also dealing with their fair share of injuries but are still favored because of their run game and defense. Dallas certainly still has the pieces to pull off a win, but with how inconsistent the Cowboys have been as a group, it's hard to put much trust in them. Ahead of the matchup between two of the league's most popular teams, the Cowboys announced a couple of roster moves. The Dallas Cowboys have moved tight end John Stevens Jr. to the season-ending injured reserve after he tore his ACL this week in practice. In his place, Cornerback Amani Orowari has landed on the 53-man roster, Nick Harris of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram wrote on X. It's been a tough start to Stevens' NFL career as he suffered a torn ACL in the preseason last year and was placed on injured reserve. Now, another ACL tear puts his career at risk as he was already facing an uphill battle to stick in the league. In his stead, Orowari will get a chance to see snaps on defense and special teams. Though a minor move, it does speak to the injury luck the Cowboys have had to endure. Cowboys finally add four-time pro bowler ahead of week eight. There, that was not so hard, was it? For some reason, the Cowboys have been waiting two months now to officially make former Viking star Dalvin Cook a part of the team's official roster. On Saturday, they made the move, putting him on the active roster. Cook had been signed to the Cowboys practice squad back on August 28, with the expectation that he could be quickly elevated to the 53-man roster and aid a running game that looked thin from the get-go. As the weeks have piled up, no action was forthcoming on Cook. The reality of the Cowboys' ground game during the season has been just about as poor as was predicted before the season, when Dallas refused to sign any major free agents and did not draft a running back in April. The Cowboys also let two-time 1,000-yard rusher Tony Pollard walk in free agency. The Cowboys' running back crew has been spearheaded by career backup Rico Dowdle and past his prime veteran Ezekiel Elliott. In all, the Dallas ground game has put up 463 yards rushing with two touchdowns. Both numbers rank 32nd in the NFL. Cowboys hoping for a Dalvin Cook turnaround. The hope in Dallas is that Cook can jumpstart the back end of his career with the Cowboys. The 29-year-old Cook is a four-time Pro Bowl runner who had four straight seasons of 1,100 yards with the Vikings before he left for the Jets last season. There was some question in Minnesota about whether Cook still had his legs, and those questions proved to be valid. Cook never carved out a role, 67 carries, 214 yards, in New York behind starter Brees Hall and was eventually released when the Jets were not playing him down the stretch of last season. He was signed by the Ravens for last season's playoffs, but recorded only 23 yards on eight carries in one game. Cook has made no bones about the fact that he is not the same player he was early in his career. But at this point, the Cowboys are desperate for help. May years in Minnesota it was Dalvin, 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 give him the ball. Now, just a little adjustment, Cook said, via ESPN. Help everybody and be productive. That's just my mindset. I'm going to be ready to go, being around Zeke, I can obviously learn a lot from him. He's older than me. Just soaking up the game, still. Learning from the young guys, too. Just being a part of this group, I feel like we're going to push each other.